but Jay was 3-0 too flattering to Chelmsford? Um, I don't know. I don't think we've worked them enough today uh, in the final third. They're second in the table, obviously, for a reason. Um, I don't think, especially first half, there was much quality in the game. Um, it was a battle on a, on a difficult pitch in windy conditions, but um, we haven't come out and started the second half well enough, and once we went a goal down, we never looked like getting back into it. Mm, which is something that happened a few months ago, didn't it? We, we sort of sold starting the second half badly, haven't we? Yeah, I, look, I, I, it, there's no denying, like, you look in the forward areas, we're, we're light at the moment. Um, Especially like we, we couldn't play Mo today, but um, obviously where we signed him from Chelmsford, the agreement was that he couldn't play against them. So it was uh, he had a positive impact, and we, we missed his energy. I thought today, um, but yeah, I just I just thought second half. Like if you're looking at the goal, I need to watch it back. But it's a poor free kick from Jamie, and then they break, and I think we had a chance to clear it. We didn't. It was scrappy. If you look at all the goals, they're scrappy and avoidable. Um, I don't want to be too harsh on the boys because in general of late we've gone against teams that are right up there light in forward areas and we and we've put on good performances but today we've we've had a bad day at the office um and that's what i have to put it down to really mm. i mean second and third goals are probably avoidable well all goals are avoidable but yeah the first one i think the second one i'm not sure how the lads sort of i think we could have avoided it going for a corner first of all and then he's, he's unmarked at the back post i'm not sure i think it was here goes man and, and he taps in and then the third one obviously johnny johnny tries to chop the lad and he read it so they're all avoidable um but I just, I just didn't think we asked enough questions. When Shields he got it, it a couple of times, we looked, we looked threatening. Even first half, when we put some good balls in there, we, we kind of never had someone to get on the end of them. Uh, as hard as Josh worked up there and Hayden did well when he came on. But um, like I say, it's, it's losing, losing Nathan as we have and things like that. It's been a big blow to us in that forward area. Um, but it, it, look, we just got to now get the boys ready for the last home game of the season and try and uh, put on a positive performance and go out with a win. Yeah, that's you know, the forty-fifth game. That's the last away game of the season. If you look at our away games specifically this season, I think we'd probably be very proud overall this season, don't we? Yeah, look, I, it's, it's a difficult one this season. I think a lot of people will look at it and go, "Oh, we we've underachieved." I think we probably the facts are we probably overachieved last year and and, and done really well. And uh, this year, when you're looking at teams that have gone down, I believe Dartford have gone now. If you're looking at the teams that are down there talking and fighting for their lives, I know they've had a points deduction. Um, but if you're looking at the teams that have gone, haven't this year, we, we've big budgets, we've done all right. Um, we've had a season of a lot of injuries and people not being available. And today, I think, again, we've, we're missing people. You're missing the likes of Ryan Hansen, Mo. They're, they're big players for us. And um, as a squad, we can't afford to lose them. But um, I think away from home, we've done all right. The support has been fantastic away from home. I've got, I've got to give the supporters a shout out. I think they've travelled everywhere. and. Their support's been fantastic, so we thank them for that. And it's why it disappoints us as, as a, a management team and the players when we, we don't play as well as we're capable of when, when we know that play, uh, supporters are, are playing harder and cash to come and watch us. So it's disappointing for us, but um, overall, like you say, we've had some good away days and some good wins. Um, you and Blackie both um, serving in touchline ban today. Blackie said to me yesterday, actually, sometimes you, you get a far better view in the stands than, yeah. than, than on the dugout. What did you see today that you haven't seen previously? I thought we got overrun in midfield. I thought today we, um, they, look, in games like today, when it's a difficult pitch like that, I think you have to you have to win that battle in there, and I don't think we did that today. I thought their three in midfield were, were better than us today, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I thought we missed Mo's energy, um, but I thought it was a midfield three we got overrun in there. It, it's interesting, I, I've, I think it's only the second time in 12, 15 years of managing that I've sort of sat that up there, and you do get a view, and you can see things happening a lot earlier than from the touchline, but I just felt that they, um, they did the basics a lot better than us, and then in, in certain areas they had that little bit of quality. The boy Ruffs obviously on a great run of form, Francis the winger, good players, and I thought they would, they popped up and, uh, and had that bit of quality for them. Um, but I don't want to do it too often. But it was it was nice to be up there and see that, or not not that performance. But um, but like I say, I think we've had a bad day. I say nothing away from Chelmsford. Like I, I hope they do well in the playoffs. I've got a lot of time for Robbie and Adam and, and, and Nicky. They're, they're good guys, and I hope they, they do well. Um, but I thought today we, we had a bad day at the office and, and they um, they capitalised on that and did did what they had to. I thought they were solid defensively and then at key moments took their chances. How did it work today with you being in the stand? Did we, were you deciding on the subs and the tactics? Yeah, team? yeah, so we, yeah. We are, we're, you're allowed to have access to, to sort of the bench by phone. So mm. it's a strange one. I've only actually had one booking this season against um, against uh, the other week. I can't remember it was against it's Technically, it's my only booking. The others were for... 
people arguing on the bench and then you get blamed because you're not in control of your bench apparently so uh, I've, only, I've technically only had one but frustrating but um, yeah it was we brought Dom in um, from, from Dom Walsh from the uh, academy and, and obviously the 18s and that he's a good lad Dom so it was good for him to come and get a feel for it um, so he helped Parky with a warm up but yeah we, we had sort of access to him by, by phone and we discuss things it's, it's, it's difficult because obviously Blackie takes a large part of the warm up so it's not ideal does it have an impact possibly on the warm up I'm not sure um, but yeah uh, it, it, it's not ideal okay I'd like to see you next week no worries cheers thank you